This is your pal Gadget Tell. And of course, that's not my real voice. This is Welcome Back. I am your pal Gadget Tell. And on this channel, we go out and we buy gadgets and we rate them from 0 to 10. 0 being the worst, 10 being the best. They can be new or used. Amazon, thrift stores, eBay, Dollar Tree. Let's get this started. One test, that's all. Welcome back, guys. And we are doing Dollar Tree gadgets again. And here is a different scrubber. Now this scrubber you're supposed to fill here. You undo this here, right there. You insert the soap here, liquid soap. There's like a, a little lever inside of here and it bends back and forth. It releases the soap and you wash the dishes. Let's see if it's more handy than washing them with a regular sponge and soap here. So you fill it up right here and then we're gonna close this right there. And that's it. Will it leak out? Let's check it out. No leakage, which is good. Good sign for me, good sign for you. See, it has that little mechanism there. I don't know if anything is happening. Um, I don't know if any soap is going down in there. But it seems as if it, it's a, a small pump. See it? It's moving up and down. Let's wet it. It's soaping up. I like this. Me, I like to feel the slipperiness of soap when I'm washing dishes. I like to feel that there is soap on the dishes. For me, that means the soap is the soap is penetrating the grease, the grime and all that stuff. And I wanna feel the soap and it's getting there. But let's wash a dish here. Let's see, if I was washing a dish, let's press it down a couple of times there. Let's get a different one, like a flat one that I have here. I got a flat one and a couple of round ones, a couple of bowls. It's kinda, it reminds me of the other one. The, the execution is almost there, but it's not there. I don't feel, I don't feel the soap almost at all. I mean, it's coming out. I know that. It's coming out for sure. Still, I would rather use a regular sponge and some soap. You see? There's not enough, there's not enough soap. I mean, how many, how many times do you have to pump this thing before you feel the soap? I don't feel it that much. Okay, let's do this. I'll get it close to the camera there so you can see. There's soap there down there, pretty good amount of it. I just don't feel it guys, it's not coming out. Man, I had high, high hopes for this product too. Other people might like light soap on their dishes, but not me. I would, I would still rather use soapy water in a container and a sponge, that's for sure. Build quality is nice. I like this, the part where the soap goes in, it's not gonna leak. I like the sponge. I'm gonna give this a 3.5 because the execution is not there. The build quality is nice, but it's not doing what it's supposed to do. The next item here, some carabiners. And these are different. These are not metal. These look like plastic. Yeah, I think it's all plastic. I can see there's a spring right in there. Kind of squeaky. But it's not about the squeak. They're all, they're all the same size. It's only three different colors. This is nice. I'm gonna use my wife's thermal flask. Perfect. Because what we do is we hang these on our backpacks or on the stroller. And this thing is pretty strong for being plastic. I'm, per I'm pulling it pretty hard. I can see it coming apart here from where the hinge locks, but it's still pretty strong. I mean, I think the thermal flask by itself, four or five pounds. If you have this on your backpack, you're walking around, it's not gonna fall off. So if you wanna use this for your keys, I think it's too bulky. And the sound, kind of annoying. Some WD-40 maybe. It's too big. I think it's too big unless you like a big carabiner. You know what, it's not that bad. But I still wouldn't carry this around in my pocket. I mean, you can hang your keys by the key ring here instead of the carabiner here, unless you're gonna just carry it like this. Your belt loop there. They're made out of plastic from Dollar Tree. These items are not that bad. All of them are from Dollar Tree, by the way. It's ribbed. They're ribbed on each side for the grip, maybe. They're all the same. They're pretty sturdy. They don't bend as much as the other ones that I've tested from the other video. After the squeaks and everything, <laughs> I'm gonna give this uh, a solid 7.2. They're pretty good. I like them. They're not that bad. The only thing I don't like, the squeaks, they seem a bit bulky. They seem a bit bulky. That's about it. Next one, it's a phone stand, and all of these are from Dollar Tree. Two different ways to hold your phone. That's the brand there. This is how thin it is. It's as thin as my phone, except for, for the holders here. 
So how does this go here? <laughs> okay, oh, I see, okay. So I guess you can put it this way. It's made out of plastic, by the way. Pretty sturdy. Um, it has different sections you can put it at to have a different angle. Once you attach it there, will it move? No, I guess once the weight, weight is on there, it won't move. That's pretty cool. There's the side view. You see how it has different angles? It's a slight difference, but there's a difference. That's the front there. Back. Front. You can stand your phone up this way. So the difference is you stand up your phone this way. It's still hooked on to the bottom there. This is an iPhone 7 and it fits pretty snug there with the case. Let's say you don't use a case. A little bit of give. I can see the give there. I'm pretty sure you can too. But it's not going to fall off. Same thing off to the side. There's a bit of space there. So it'll, it'll fit all types of phones, I think. Take your phone off. You want to put it away. Fold it. Fold it. These are still going to be sticking out. They're not going to fold away. I really like it. It's cool. I like the sturdiness of it. I don't like this. They stick out too much. I'm going to give this, uh, I think, a 7.2. And that's a pretty good score for this thing. You can put this anywhere and you'll have no trouble finding space for it. This is the last product here. Remember, one test, that's all. It looks like a, a light bulb. On and off button here. Let's put the batteries in. It feels sturdy. And it's like a real light bulb screwing out of a socket. Look, check it out. That's cool. There's this. There we go. Three triple A's. Goes inside here. This goes right on top. Uh, let's try that again. So inside, you have to match these two points to those connections in there. So anyways, let's slide that in. That's it. Oh. Oh, it has different light modes. That's cool. Three different light modes. Bright. See, you can hang this in a shed, I guess, in a tool, a tool shed. Low. And then flashing, if you want, I guess, a signal for somebody to find you. You say, hey, just look for the flashing light. Off. Bright. This is really bright. My whole face over here is being illuminated. That's pretty nice. This is the brightest mode here. Put that behind me. You can see how bright that is. I think it's pretty bright. If I look around the room, I mean, I can see stuff from pretty far away. I can see stuff all around the room. Low mode. The flashing mode. It looks like a light bulb. It's so cool because you can hold it this way too. You know, you can walk around. If you're looking for something really quick, you can walk around. I lost my keys. I'm just guessing if you want to look in your engine bay, you want to hang this up. I think this will work. It's not a spotlight, that's for sure. It's a floodlight, so the light goes everywhere. This is pretty cool. I like this, guys. It's really nice because it has all these modes. The design, it's a light bulb. You know what it is. As soon as you see it, you say, oh, that, that's a light. 8.9. It's really nice. It's pretty sturdy. It might break when you drop it maybe once. This is pretty thin. It's like a ping pong ball. It's kind of weird. But you hang this up, you put it away, and you use it when you really need it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. This is your pal Gadget Sal here again. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Comment down below, and we'll see you next time. And remember, one test, that's all.